Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today is September 2nd, 2014. Uh, it is the day after the first day of September, and I've been crunching stats for the last day and a half to bring you the new Smog on Tears for September, October, and November of 2014. Um, so for those of you who are, have never, who are uninitiated, how the Smog on Tears work is that they're primarily based on usage. Um, except for the Ubers tier, anything that's not an Ubers is eligible to be played with in OU. And uh, Pokemon that are used at least 3.41 plus some decimal points percent of the time in OU uh, are considered OU. Meaning OU literally means overused. And so if they're used at least 3.41% of the time, that's spaced over three months, weighted, doing some weird funky stuff. Uh, there's, a, there's a link to a thread in the description. Click that if you want to learn more about the, the details. But anyway, for now, 3.41%, just that's the magic number. And if it's used at least that much, then it's OU. If not, then it could potentially be in UU. Uh, Pokemon that are considered too strong for UU you end up in the, ban the Uber's ban list of UU, which is called Borderline. Um, and you repeat that process going down from UU to RU and then RU to NU. So if it's used 3.41% of the time in UU, then it's UU. If not, then it's eligible for RU. And if it's used less than 3.41% of the time in RU, then it's eligible for NU. This month is a, sorry about that. This month is exciting because in addition to OU, UU, RU, and NU, we're going to be supporting PU, the tier below, the unofficial, unofficial tier below NU, uh, will be playable on Pokemon Showdown. From here on out, it is an official, unofficial metagame, if that makes any sort of sense. Uh, there will not... So there might be a BL4 ban list where Pokemon are banned uh, from PU, but that will be determined by whoever's running unofficial PU. And again, it's an unofficial tier. Um, what that means is there will be no smog on tournaments for it. I don't even know whether there'll be on-site analyses or a forum, but it, you will be able to play it on Showdown, and that's going to be the fun, the fun thing. Now, uh, I'll also be collecting stats on PU in the future, so if I have stats for PU, that means I could potentially... Uh, give you a ban list for a tier below PU. Um, oh, let me just quickly say, PU doesn't stand for anything. Uh, PU is an English pun. Uh, PU mean, uh, is something that little kids say when they hear something, uh, they smell something rank. So if uh, a Pokemon is PU, then that means it stinks. Uh, it doesn't actually work out that way because there's plenty of Pokemon that are in PU that are still extremely viable. Ditto is a great ex example. Um, but anyway, forget about that. So PU will be a thing. Uh, there could potentially be a tier below that, but uh, I'll, I may generate the ban list for it, but you will never see it played on uh, Showdown. Uh, what will happen... So if PU were to go to go official... It would no longer be called PU. Uh, we've discussed this in, in with the, among the staff, and if PU were to ever become official, which it won't, it won't this generation is the, the prevailing attitude, but if PU were to become official, it would become the new NU, and NU would become, the current NU would become BU, which would stand for, I believe, barely used. Uh, so the lowest, uh, the lowest official tier will always be NU, which means never used. You can't have anything less than never. That just doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, so these are the changes for the month. Uh, I'm not posting the initial NU, uh, the, sorry, the initial PU ban list. Uh, you, if you want that, click the link in the description. Um, there, there would just be too many Pokemon to list. Uh, but, anyway, going back. So, drops. There were a lot, a lot of drops this month, mainly due to Pokemon and, actually not Pokemon, abilities, not actually ability. Okay, things be getting banned. I'm babbling. So things got banned, and that led to a whole bunch of Pokemon being no longer viable. So in OU, uh, actually right before the June tier update, uh, Baton Pass got nerfed. You could only have, I think, three Pokemon who knew Baton Pass on a single team. And so, consequently, a whole bunch of Pokemon that are Baton Pass Pokemon, uh, Smeargle, Vaporeon, uh, I don't think Togekiss, but... Uh, Espeon and uh, uh, Scolipede all no longer really became viable in OU and dropped down to UU pretty much immediately. Scolipede actually isn't falling all the way to UU. It was borderline before it rose to OU, and so it's going right back to the borderline tier. Um, in UU, Shadow Tag was banned, so Gothitelle and Wobbuffet are now dropping. 
Uh, they're, going, they're dropping to you, RU, but I can't even imagine that Wobbuffet will stay in RU because without Shadow Tag, it's got nothing going for it. Uh, beyond that, you know, you've got a few random drops and rises. Uh, it's interesting that you're uh, you're tossing one Shell Smasher for another uh, in, in RU and uh, NU, and Diancy uh, was wasn't going to stay in OU. That, that just wasn't going to happen. Uh, Magnazone leaving borderline. That's pretty awesome. It's, I mean, doesn't actually, so this is a, it's a difference without a distinction. A distinction without a difference. Yeah, so it, before it was borderline, you couldn't use it in UU. Now it's going to be OU and you're not going to be able to use it in UU. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and so that's it. Uh, again, if you want to know more about how stats are calculated, or if you want the full smog on tier lists, you should really click the link in the description. And with that, I'm going to sign off. So long, folks.